my lovelies, Elsie here with your sneak peek for this week. How are you? Welcome to the new week. Thank you so much for clicking here. So I'm here to do a reading from Aries to Pisces, my friends. I'm going to read a few minutes on each of the signs. This is just a sneak peek for this week. If you want to know what else is going on this week, please look back there at the, the readings that I did last week because the individual readings for the energies I do uh, for the week ahead. So I'm giving you sort of doubling up on the energy here. So if you are here brand new and you've never been here before, I hope you will stay. There is a subscription button in the bottom right hand corner of that uh, uh, frame that you're looking at there and if you would hit the bell button you'll know when I'm reading for your sign during the week. So I am here to do um, a read from like I said Aries to Pisces. I've marked everything down below in the description so you can just uh, follow along. You can just scroll this video and find out what you need but please 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 stop watching tarot just for your sun sign. I know that a lot of you are already watching for your sun moon rising Venus and Jupiter um, but um, if you're not uh, you just don't have the you don't you don't know what's going on. <laughs> And that's the truth of it. Um, so please uh, go find a nail chart. It's free everywhere online. They're free. Um, also, there is a, uh, a reading sale right now until June the 30th. So I put pinned, uh, pinned all of that stuff in the... Um, uh, above uh, at the top of the comment section below this video. I don't know why my words are so hard today. <laughs> they are. Oh, this could be terrible. <laughs> Let's go for it. Let's find out what's going on for you, Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I just want to thank those of you who are always here. Um, uh, uh, subscribing, clicking, being in the comments, thumbs up. I really do appreciate you. Thank you. Even if you haven't subscribed and you give a thumbs up, it does matter how this channel grows. So thank you for that. All right, Aries, here we go. We've got the Six of Cups. What's going on with the Six of Cups here? We've got you in some nostalgic energy here. Thinking about the good old days. Yeah, tell me more about Aries, please. What else do we need to know? We've got the Five of Pentacles. Interesting. So I feel like the good old days, I feel like you are disconnected from someone in the good old days. That's what it feels like here. We've got the Ace of Cups. Somebody that you probably have some pretty big feelings for that you've never revealed because the Five of Pentacles is here. The Ten of Pentacles tells me that um, I feel like um, it's a very big love that you have. Very big feelings. It's an abundant love. That's what I want to say. We've got the Six of Cups here. So why are you disconnected from the good old days? It feels like this is uh, you're thinking about uh, fun memories, like uh, emotionally happy memories. The Six of Cups is here. Tell me why the Six of Cups is here. We do have the Knight of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands and we have the King of Cups. So your feelings have grown over time. That's what it feels like. You've gone from the Knight to the King and the Nine of Wands is here. I feel like it's been, it's been a hardship. I feel having all of these memories it's been a hardship and I feel like you your feelings for someone have grown. It's an abundant love, my friend. Tell me more. Who is the person from the good old days? Feels like there's nostalgia here. Could be a king of wands, feminine or masculine. Could be a queen of pentacles, feminine or masculine. Uh, we do have the king of wands. We do have the queen of pentacles and the four of cups. Hmm. I do feel, um, you know, this being your energy here, Aries, um, the king of wands energy. I, I feel as though you are in a place right now where you want to drop some burdens. It feels like there is something that is kind of haunting you. It feels like haunting memories. Um, we've got the six of cups, six of cups here and the four, which is ten. Um, but I want to say that right now we're in silence. It's like you're silently thinking about the queen of pentacles, I think. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. I want to say that there's some pretty big feelings here, like really large, huge, valuable, like unending, long-term feelings here for somebody. I feel like the king is carrying a wand and we have the nine of wands here. And so I think it's something here is has grown over a long period of time, but it feels like um, 
it's uh, it's like you want to drop your burdens but you it feels like you don't know how you're burdened in some pretty deep feelings that you have and so i want to say that not only has the love grown from romance to deep love but it feels like you've also grown i want to say you've grown up you're either the king of cups or the king of wands maybe both Maybe there's two different people here. We do have the judgment card. So you are about to make some sort of really big decision here that is going to change everything. Um, it's going to change everything. And I want to say that this is like you rising from the ashes because I feel everything was burnt down with the five of pentacles. It feels like we aren't talking. We're disconnected. Um, everything is in lack. I want to say you're waiting to feel inspired or inspiration to move forward toward the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is very solid and grounded, right? This person is somebody who's an overgiver. Um, they love to help and take care of other people. Um, <coughs> you are in the Four of Cups at this time. I feel like you're in this place of redundancy, although very... Um, solid, uh, I would say stable emotionally. Your emotions are stable. Why are you making this big decision? What's it about? We've got the Five of Cups. You need to do something. You need to move forward, take action. It feels like because of the Five of Cups. It feels like there is some sadness or regret here. Yeah. I feel like somebody's been crying. Like it feels like somebody's really emotional about this here we do have the seven of pentacles because it's we've it's been so much time has passed that's what it feels like like somebody's been really in their feelings so much time has passed i've grown so much so much has changed and i feel like it's it's you definitely who's grown up to the king um maybe you have more responsibilities Maybe you've got a business, possibly you're an entrepreneur, but I feel like you're you're waiting to feel inspired, maybe to communicate with somebody here, because the Five of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles tells me it's been a really long time that you've been in this energy of sadness and regret. So what is the decision that you want to make here, Aries? What's the decision? The decision is that you have to end something in order for something else to begin. So the Three of Pentacles is here. I feel like the, the, the Death card is telling me that something here is transforming or ending. What you want to end is the sadness. You want the waiting to end. You want to... I feel, I feel something is going to end so something can begin because we do have the Death card and then we have the Ace of Wands. I feel like you have a passionate connection with a friend. Like it feels like a, the Three of Pentacles is telling me that there is somebody here that I feel that you know is on your side. This person is really grounded, and I think it's the Queen of Pentacles, because we are speaking of Pentacles. This person's really grounded. They've always had your back. You know that they're they're on your team. This person, I see the Ace of Wands here, and it makes me feel like that the end of something must come. Maybe it's a long-term relationship because the Ten of Pentacles is here. But it feels like something must end or transform in order for something new to begin. In order for you to go on this exciting new path of the thing that you want to do, Aries. I feel like with this energy here with the king, the king wants to move forward and be inspired by creativity and passion and excitement here. So I feel like there is somebody here who you know has your back. It could be a Scorpio. It could be Virgo or Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Cancer. We do have Aries, Sagittarius, Leo here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Tell me what happens next. Eight of Pentacles. You really want to work on this. What do you want to work on? The Eight of Cups. I feel like you released someone or walked away. What else do we have? The star, somebody who means the world to you. Somebody who I feel that you are very uh, spiritually or energetically or psychically connected to because of the star. I feel like you want to gain ground with this person. I feel like you want to pour into them like they've always poured into you. Why are you not with this person? The Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Because you don't feel like you're enough. 
I feel like you're going to communicate with them. Maybe life is really busy. Um, but it feels like if it is that, if it's the Two of Pentacles is telling me life is really busy and you're running here, there, and everywhere, I feel like you're going to stop and communicate with this person, Eight of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles, um, that you want to see this person face to face. It's finally time to, to do something about this Five of Pentacles here. Yeah, it feels like we've been holding ground. Um, Ten of Swords, there was a painful ending. Seven of Cups, it's all confusing. And is the ending an illusion, right? Is it an illusion? Should we, should I reach out to this person? Should you, I think you will. Like the Eight of Wands is here. So I think you will reach out to this person here. Um, we do have the Strength card. We have the Queen of Wands in the reverse and we have the Hanged Man. Yeah, you will. You've had a realization here that um, you need to take action that this person's never going to take action toward you. The Queen of Wands is in the reverse, and when she is, she's not taking action. She's not going anywhere. The Strength card is here. She's holding back. So I feel like you're, you, um, you must go forward and connect with this person. I feel like something in your life has ended or is about to end, and you already know that. The Seven of Swords is here. I feel like we're keeping things from each other, or there are secrets, things that we haven't told each other. Yeah, you haven't told this person that there is an ending coming up. I feel like um, for you, Aries, that there is uh, I, either you've already had some sort of shift or an ending where you've closed a door and had hit some sort of milestone or an achievement, like you feel like things have come full circle, and now it's time to connect with this person here. We do have uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We have Pisces. We have more Leo energy. Uh, we have uh, Aquarius, who is the star. Um we do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. We have uh, Scorpio energy here, Virgo and Pisces. Uh, we do have, um, yeah, I already did say Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. Yeah, I'll just leave it right there. All right, Aries. Tell me about Taurus. What's going on with the bull gang, please? Taurus. Taurus. Sneak peek for this week for Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Taurus, if you're interested in a, a private read, there's a 10% off sale. Everything is in the pinned comment at the top of all of the comments below this video. Tell me about Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Taurus. What does Taurus need to know for this week, please? Sneak peek for this week for Taurus. We do have the Eight of Wands in the reverse, Taurus. Things are quiet. Nothing's moving. There's no communication. Feels like things are stuck, I want to say. Oh, Charlie just said stuck in the mud. Things are, well, you know what? The lotus flower does grow in the mud, though. I'm going to say, like, it's not, things are not over, but I want to say that, um, that it feels like things are silent. Tell me why the Eight of Wands is here, please, for Taurus. Oh. You're the one that's being quiet with somebody here. It's uh, telling me definitely that, that we are talking about things from the Empress's point of view. I think you moved on to someone else or moved on to love or maybe the love of self. Uh, it could be for some of you that you've moved on and you're in a different relationship or, um, yeah, the Empress... The Empress has decided to cut away from the chaos. I feel like the chaos is the silence. It's the chaos of things being stuck. I feel like you're you're in a place where you feel like you're stuck. Like you um, keep doing the same thing over, right? Work, eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep. It's like Groundhog Day. You are moving toward love here, though. I want to tell you that there is something in the future. You are moving toward love and some type of commitment here. But something here is bothering you. The fact that it's silent or that things seem stagnant or stale... Not moving forward, not talking to someone. Tell me why the Eight of Wands is here. We do have the Queen of Wands. We have the Fool. And we have the Judgment card. You're waiting for someone to make a decision. I don't think you're waiting, Taurus. Like, I don't feel like you're waiting, but there is silence here between you and somebody else. And I feel like you're waiting for someone else to take action. Um, you're waiting for someone to step out, take action, right? The Queen of Wands is here, feminine or masculine. The Queen of Wands is here, and the Fool. And the Fool is kind of, it's like, okay, it's your turn. Go ahead. It's up to you. That's what it feels like. So I feel like, Taurus, I feel like you don't need anybody. I feel like you're whole on your own. I feel like you're good, feminine or masculine. You're showing up as the Empress here. I feel like you're um, very st solid and sturdy. Like, I feel like you don't need a person. And you're like, fine, if you don't want to talk to me, that's fine. I'm just going to keep moving here. But I want to say that I feel as though somebody here is about to make a decision. 
Um, I feel like you're waiting for the Queen of Wands to show up or say something, and I don't think you're waiting. I think you're headed off looking for new love or taking new opportunities for love. Maybe you're you're um, you've now decided that you're letting go of this. You've you've cut away essentially from the chaos and you're going to the calm calmer waters is emotion i feel like um you don't really care anymore if this person has made their decision <laughs> that's what it feels like but there is somebody here who is possibly a fire sign um it doesn't have to be it's a virgo and pisces energy here as well um that somebody here is making a really big decision in the silence and there's something going on that you don't know about tell me about the judgment card here something going on that Taurus doesn't know about it's a judgment card here somebody's making a decision about you and they want to open a new chapter here but you're you're not moving like you're you're not interested you're not and maybe you are interested but you're not interested in chasing anybody because the empress doesn't chase look when you're a whole person you don't need anybody and i'm not saying that i'm not just saying that because i'm saying oh you don't need anybody that's not what i'm saying i mean you just don't feel like you need anybody if somebody should, should show up that is on your vibration, I'm sure that you'd be open to it. Um, I feel like you're out here looking for someone who's emotionally available. Tell me about Judgment Card. Got the Seven of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Emperor. So I feel it is, it is an Emperor here, my friend, who is making a decision about you. And I, I want to say that this person is somebody who has stood their ground. Somebody who has boundaries this person his is making a decision to boundary up and come forward it feels like this person the emperor is somebody who's interested in getting some type of stability with you and although the four of wands is like moving in together and all that stuff i don't think that that applies here that's not what i'm feeling i feel like the emperor wants to have the friendship back or they want to speak to you again they want to have stability fun excitement can we go out like that's what it feels like here can we get back to the way it was that's what it feels like. Can we get back to just uh, being being happy with each other? But I feel like there's somebody here that's been standing your ground, but they're making a decision. They're making a decision um, to try and come forward here to get some stability with you. Tell me about more about the judgment card, please. But this person is the one who has been silent with you. So we do have the Six of Cups, we have the Moon, and we have the Five of Wands. So it does feel like the reason that this person has not come forward yet is because of the Moon card. They don't know what's going to happen. And listen, the Emperor is never going to take a chance to step outside of the realm of where they know that they can win. The Emperor doesn't have that luxury. The Emperor is, is running the Empire. All of the kingdoms, the kings and the queens report to them. They're very busy. They've, you know, this person is probably a business owner. They probably own multiple businesses. This person is, is um, somebody who is the authority and they are not going in to take a chance or a risk. They can't risk anything. They won't risk anything because this is the conqueror. This is the one who's in charge. This is the boss, right? And um, the Six of Cups and the Moon card tells me that there are hidden feelings here. There are hidden, there's hidden nostalgia. It's like uh, we keep it under the surface. We don't tell other people about it. It feels like somebody is making a decision um, to stop being indecisive. Somebody's, yeah, not doesn't want to be indecisive. But I think that, that they know that there's competition for the Empress. And they would be right because there is love in the future here. So I feel like, you know, this, this Emperor knows that they need to get on it if they're going to get on it. We do have the, the Nine of Swords, we do have the Tower, and we have the High Priestess is breaking the silence, literally breaking, breaking the silence, Taurus. Yeah, somebody who's been stuck in a cycle here is about to break the silence here, and it is the King of Cups. Yep. There is a, a soulmate connection here. And so I feel it's a hidden soulmate connection. I feel like you haven't told anyone about it and they haven't told anyone about it. It feels like it hangs out in the moon energy. Things are not as they seem. Even though these two people are so far apart from each other, I feel like you do literally on the table, you're apart, but I feel like you're apart from each other, that you two have not told anybody about this connection that you have, which I believe is in the high priestess energy. I feel that if you're both not High Priestess, I would be shocked because we do have the King and the Queen of Cups here. We have very psychic energy, psychic, psychic intuitive here. So it does feel like there is somebody here that you're connected to through energy, psychic intuitive energy, and you're not speaking with them. They're not speaking with you, but they're making the decision to step forward because the Empress isn't going to do that. The Empress is okay on her own or his own. This person doesn't need anybody else, but this person 
I feel as somebody who it's bugging. I feel like their intuition is telling them it's time to go. They're going to get a tower, and, and it's it's going to bust them out of this uh, this this stuck cycle that they've been in in the mind. So I feel like you are going to get some sort of communication from the emperor um, this week for some of you. The Knight of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. It tells me somebody's coming in. They're coming in on the horse. <laughs> somebody's coming in quickly. You might even see them this week. They want to see you face to face. They're not going to text you. They, they, they might make other communication with you, but I don't think they're going to text you. I feel like you know, it could, it feels like it's going to be connection in the 3D. So if they do text you, it's like, I'd like to see you. It's not going to be communication, extensive communication in, in, in texting. It's not going to be that. This person wants to reconnect to you in the 3D. So whoever that person is to you, they they are Aries. But listen, when the, when the queen, sorry, the empress and the emperor are here, um, there is... Um, all of the queens and the kings are present. So it could be any sign, really. We do have the moment of alchemy here. Yeah, somebody here is is practicing inner strength. Somebody is letting go, finally. They're letting go. It feels like they feel that there is a, a very lucrative sort of, maybe it's a business decision that this person's coming forward, or they might come forward in a business sort of way, because the emperor is that. So is the empress, by the way. So uh, we do have... Um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, more Pisces, more Scorpio. We have Aries energy. We have Pisces and Cancer. Look, lots of psychic, intuitive, connected through energies, 5D sort of energy here. Um, we do have Aries. We have Virgo and Pisces. We have Libra and uh, Libra and Taurus here. Also Sagittarius on the bottom of the deck. All right. Let's get to the birthday babies. Happy birthday, Gemini. I hope your uh, your birthday month is going well. If your birthday is today, happiest birthday to you. I hope you're well. Uh, Gemini, if you're interested in a private read, please look to the comment I have pinned to the top of all the comments below this video. All the information you need is there, including a code that will um, give you 10% off of all of my services. All right. Let's find out what's going on with Gemini, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Gemini. What's coming up this week? Sneak peek this week for Gemini. Oh, Gemini, there is a new chapter opening up here. I feel like you're about to take some sort of a leap of faith. Something, I don't think it's unplanned, because to me, when the fool is in the upright, it's like you've done your homework. You know if there's water or rocks or whatever down below there. It feels like um, the sun is shining, though, so I want to say you're doing the right thing. If you are going on this new chapter, maybe you don't even know the new chapter is opening yet. Maybe it hasn't come to that yet for you. But I feel like when this new chapter, <coughs> when the new chapter shows itself, I feel like you're ready. You are ready. Tell me about the fool. It's like, I've, I just heard Charlie say, I don't really know what I'm doing, but here I go. That's what he said. I don't really know what I'm doing, but here I go. So um, Charlie's my guide, by the way. Um, but here we go. We do have the Empress. Somebody's jumping right in. Okay. So I feel like, uh, Gemini, you are about to take some sort of a leap of faith here. Now, it's a... It's a leap of faith into abundance, I feel. Or maybe if this isn't just abundance, it's a creative leap of faith. Maybe you're jumping into something creative. Um, but it could also be that this is the person that you're that you're taking a leap toward here. Libra, Libra and uh, Taurus energy. The Empress is somebody who really doesn't really need anybody. Um, uh, this is someone who's good on their own. Um, if this if this is relationship related, let's find out. We've got the Seven of Cups. <laughs> so Gemini, I think you're ready to take a leap of faith. But I want to say that you think it's an illusion that this person might have feelings for you. It's like, Gemini, I feel like you're you're feeling like, well, I have feelings for this person. Do they have feelings for me like that? It's like you think it, that it's a one-sided thing. You think that, that this person has... Um, that you have feelings for this person, but you think it's an illusion that they might have the same feelings for you. Then why are you taking the leap of faith? What's going on here? We do have the uh, Knight of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands and we have the Ace of Cups. You are ready, Freddie. You are I feel like you don't care what anyone else is going to say. And I think that that might have been a problem before, Gemini, that you were you were worried how it would look from the outside if you were to take a foolish leap 
into some sort of a love situation. This is Gemini energy, right? We have the Knight of Swords. It feels like you're you're kind of charging in with passion. You're charging in with kind of restless abandon, independent. I'm gonna get what I'm gonna get. I, I don't care. It's it, it's it's like nobody can tell you no. You're gonna go. You're gonna go get it. The Queen of Wands is the tenacious one, right? I don't really care what people think. The Queen of Wands is Sagittarius. I always say I'm a Sag rising. I always say that the, the Queen of Wands is like, people can think I'm a weirdo. I don't really care. I'm on my path and I'm doing what I want to do. And people are going to see me color outside the lines and I don't really care. I really do feel that you have passionate love for the Empress. That's what it feels like here, Gemini, that there's passionate love for the Empress. And I feel that you're wondering if the Empress has carried on with someone else. Because of the Seven of Cups. You're even wondering, like, this This empress obviously has a lot of options in love. And so I think that you are, I think that you are about to speak to this person about the Ace of Cups. I think, think that you're going to let them know exactly that you are attracted to them, that you think that they're very tenacious. It feels like you're, it's almost like a congratulatory energy with this knight charging in with all the words and saying, oh my gosh, look how good you look. Like, like that's what it feels like. It feels like a... This person is someone that maybe you haven't seen in a while. Maybe they've had a glow up. And tell me why you've decided to jump. You've decided to jump because you don't like the silence. Because it's time for this thing to come full circle, Gemini. It's time for you to say something. It's time for us to stop. Um, stop with the silence. Stop with the disconnection. The fear-based thoughts. I'm never going to get what I want. Like, I feel like you're you're about to um, close in on some sort of silence or lack that you had with the Empress. What else do we have for the moon energy? Or sorry, the world energy, please. We've got the Eight of Swords. I feel like you've been moving really slow. Like, really slow towards this realization that I feel that you need to say something, but you don't know what to say. You've been in this Eight of Swords, I want to say, for a while, and it's time to close that chapter. I feel it's become too painful for you to be in this Eight of Swords energy anymore because you're too, feeling too much in lack. It's time for us to bring these things full circle here. It's time to make the world right. <laughs> yeah, it's time to make the world right again. So let's talk about this. You're you're um, you're wondering if this empress feels the same way that you do. You're also wondering is this person already off in another love relationship? Am I am I in this illusion energy of like maybe I'm delusional to think that the empress doesn't have somebody else? Does the empress have somebody else, Gemini? I would say that if the empress has somebody else, that she's not interested in the op opportunity to have some sort of um, a committed relationship because the five of wands is here. I feel like the empress is probably dealing with a king of swords. If this person has a person, they might be dealing with someone who is an Aquarius or someone who is um, another sign that is acting like an Aquarius. I want to say that there's probably some verbal battles that are going on here. Um, it feels like somebody here, like the, I feel like the Empress wants the commitment from this person, but I feel like there's too many internal and external battles going on with the King of Swords. So I want to say that the King of Swords is is kind of sharp with their words, like they're they're being very honest with the Empress, and that's what the Empress really wants, but it does feel like the this King of Swords is battling themselves. It's like they're embroiled in some sort of battle of telling the truth. Like they, they will tell the truth, but it feels like this person is quite immature. It's like they go back and forth between this, this I'm the king, I'm on the throne, it's my way or the highway, but then they go back into this, okay, well, maybe I don't learn, I don't know everything that I think that I know. I feel like the queen feels like it's, or the empress feels like it's too much of a battle. So you've been stuck in your head here for a while. It's time to close this chapter of feeling and luck and feeling and lack and being stuck. It's time for the wish fulfillment. You need to heal yourself before you decide to move forward. I want to say that there's only one way. Like we are all, all of us, we are all the magician, but some of us don't see it. Like understand there's some of us that just don't see that we have the tools. We wait for other people to close the door. We wait for someone else to make a decision about us. We wait 
and we don't realize that we have all the aces in hands. We don't have to wait. And so I want to say that you're going to come to a realization after some healing here that there is that there is wish fulfillment here and that you always had the tools. It's like, I feel like there's been separation for years here. That's what it feels like, separation for years or silence. And you always had all the tools. It's just that you have to heal enough to recognize you have them or to be brave enough, right? And I think you are brave enough because we do have the, the uh, Knight of Swords. So I feel like you're now brave enough to approach the Queen of Wands, who is the Empress. Um, I feel like you're brave enough to approach the Empress, and I feel like that's what's going to happen this week, probably. I feel like you're pretty serious about this person. You want some... I feel like you want some you want some karmic justice with this person. We've got the four. The four of wands tells me that you know there's a deep connection here that you can't deny. And uh, we do have the moon energy. Things are not as they seem. So I want to say that if you, if you think that the empress... Um, doesn't want to see you, I would say things aren't as they seem, that there are romantic feelings here, that this person has not been speaking with you because you've not been speaking with them, quite simply. And then we have the Two of Cups. There is love here between you and this other person. Look, I feel like the Empress is, it doesn't feel like the Empress is really connected to anybody. I, I feel like there's a an argument over commitment, but understand that the Empress doesn't need anybody. So the Empress might be saying to the King of Swords, no, I don't need this. I don't need the commitment. And this is, I think, what they're fighting over. I feel like they're fighting over somebody wants to 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 um, nail down the empress, right? Somebody wants to get them in a commitment and the empress is like, no, that's not what I want. But it could be because they're waiting for you to say something. It could be that. All right. We've got Gemini energy. We've got Aries. We've got uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Libra. Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. We've got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Aries. All right, all right. Tell me about Cancer. What's going on with Cancer, please? Sneak peek for this week for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Cancer, please. Cancer, if you're interested in a private read, please look at the top of the comment section. I've pinned a comment there. Um, it's 10% uh, off all of my services till June 30. All right, here, let's find out what's going on for Cancer. What's coming up this week? Sneak peek for this week for Cancer. Let's see energy for Cancer, please. We have the Five of Wands. Hmm. It's a little bit of inner turmoil here. Now, the thing is about the Five of Wands, it, it, it also is a place where you get stuck, right? It's like you're in the midst of battle with the self, and so you're kind of stuck in this place. It's like you can't, you can't move forward from here. There's indecision. You don't trust yourself. You want to be the victor, but you're not really sure if you can get it. Tell me about the Five of Wands, please. We've got the Four of Pentacles. You're not telling anybody. I want to say that this is an internal battle that you're raging against yourself here. I feel like you're smack-talking yourself, Cancer. Um, you're saying terrible things to yourself. And uh, it feels like you're you're really not either not sharing yourself with other people or not being vulnerable. Um, this is really impacting your ability to move on this energy here, to move on from a place where you're stuck. We've got the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups and the Knight of Swords tells me you need to get out there and be more social. I feel like you're spending too much time by yourself. Uh, it's time to get out there, be more social. It's time to, um, with the Three of Cups here and the Knight of Swords, it's time to get out and talk to people. Make friends, get out, have some drinks, go, go out with people. It feels like you've been spending too much time shut in or shut down and it's causing you to go inward and, and have this... Um, this harsh energy that you're, I feel like it's yourself. I feel like it's an inward battle that you're raging right now. We do have the Hierophant. We have the King of Cups and the World card. Hmm. It almost feels like somebody here has lost hope. I, I want to say you're no longer emotionally available. Like I really do feel that whatever it is that you're saying to yourself... At the end of the day, I feel as, you know, whatever dialogue any of us has about ourselves, it doesn't, I'm not just pinning this on cancer, whatever dialogue we have for ourselves is the way that we live. It's the stories we tell ourselves, right? So we could tell ourselves that um, I'm never going to get that. And of course, you'll never get that. Or we could tell ourselves that I'm not beautiful enough. I'm not handsome enough. And maybe you feel like you're not. And so you're not. 
And so you don't take care of yourself very well. Like it, we really are what we think. I feel like you're no longer emotionally available and you're no longer available for, for commitment. And I feel like it's because of this internal battle that you're raging. It feels almost like you're, you've decided to close the door on love and close the door on commitment. And we do have the world card here, which tells me it's a hard close. Like it feels like you're, you um, are at the end of a chapter here. And um, you're just moving forward in a way that... Um, I feel like it took you a long time to make this decision. I feel like this has been going on for a while. Why is the world card here, please? I've got the Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Everything is pointing to, I don't want it. I don't want love. I don't want relationship. I don't want connection. It's it's like you're... you're I want to say the Ten of Cup or Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse. I feel like you're having financial issues, or this Ten of Pentacles is telling me that you have no more energy to spend on um, relationships, like long term. Maybe you're looking for short term relationships because the King of Wands has shown up. So I feel uh, it, it really does feel like I'm speaking to a Cancer who's been hurt over and over and over again. And you're like, nope, I'm not getting into that again. I'm not doing the marriage thing. I'm not getting into long term relationships. I'm going to invest in myself. I'm going to close the door and all this stuff. And I'm going to focus on maybe short term, short term fun. That's what it feels like here. We have that Three of Cups and the Knight of Swords, which is telling me that you're too closed off, that it's time for you to get out and and meet people and enjoy people and have fun. But I don't think that I don't think that you're doing that. I feel like you're really stuck in the mind this week. And uh, understand this isn't forever, right? This is just this week. It is a sneak peek for this week. I feel like with this um, page of swords that you are looking for excitement, passion, but it feels like you're stuck in your head here. And I want to say that in order to be able to meet somebody, if it is passionate short-term things that you're looking for, you're still going to have to go out. You're going to have to get out with friends or get out and meet people. The Three of Cups is here and tells me there's celebration that's available. All you got to do is get on the horse and go. Talk to people. Um, but I feel like it's it's almost like you're, you're, this is what's taking up all of your time. This is, you're looking for passion. You're looking for passion. You're looking for passion. It keeps going over and over in my head. You're looking for passion. It's obsessive. It's come to, it's come to an obsessive place here. We've got um, the King of Pentacles. We've got the Four of Cups and we have the Two of Wands. So I feel as though maybe you're um, investing or focusing on your work or your money or your pentacle life you've decided to turn your back on love turn your back on commitment maybe even going out with people isn't all that exciting for you anymore but listen you can be you can be an entrepreneur all you want but if you can't make connections and you can't network then what kind of an entrepreneur are you like i feel like you you can pretend that you can do it all by yourself but eventually at some point you got to open up to other people who are like-minded who are who are fun who are exciting like everybody needs a break but i feel like right now your focus is not on it on anything except how to make money and where to get some short-term excitement. That's what it looks like. I'm sorry if that offends you. We do have the Ace of Cups here. Why is that? Ace of Cups is a strength card here. We're holding back from the Ace of Cups. Six of Pentacles tells me you want reciprocal energy, but you're worried. You're scared. You're worried about it. You're stuck in a cycle here, my friend. The Nine of Cups, you can't have the Nine of Cups if you continually are stuck in this cycle. That's the thing. Um, that you want reciprocity, but you're but you're like, I'm stuck in the cycle. I want the reciprocity, but I'm not getting it. You're not getting it because you're not going out and you're not talking with people. And uh, we do have the, the strength card here holding back from the Ace of Cups. Look, that's the weirdest reading that I've done so far, probably in the last couple of weeks anyway. But I don't know who needed to hear that in a general reading. But I feel like you are, it's almost like you're punishing yourself because your last relationship didn't work out or because uh, the commitment didn't work out. Or it's like you're closing your... You know, the king of when the king of cups shows up, but it's with the world card. It feels like it feels like it's the end of being emotionally available to me. It's like you're slamming the door on it. I don't need it anymore because it's just going to cause me to be hurt. So we have Leo energy here. Um, we do have uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We've got Gemini. We've got uh, uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, and more Taurus energy. I don't know. Take it as it resonates, my friends. Just wonder if it has uh, resonated with anyone. And you don't need to say. You don't need to broadcast your stuff if you don't want to. I understand. All right. Leo. 
Leo, let's find out what's going on with you. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Leo, what's going on with Leo. Sneak peek for this week. Leo, if you're interested in a private read, please look at the pinned comment at the top of all the comments. There's a 10% off sale until the 30th of June. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What's coming up with Leo, please? Sneak peek for this week for Leo. Got the Five of Swords. Why is that? Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords is about conflict and disagreement. It's like somebody threw down their swords and said, nope, no way. I feel like somebody chose you, but I feel like you didn't choose them, Leo. I feel like maybe somebody was very honest with you about the lover's energy and it started a fight or an argument or a tense moment. It's like somebody revealed their feelings to you that you were the choice. It could have been a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn that revealed that to you. But you, I feel that there's a, some sort of toxicity here. So the toxicity could be that maybe you think that the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is very codependent. Maybe you don't trust this person. Um, but it also feels like maybe you have doubt about them. I feel like this person revealed their feelings to you, but I don't know that you are in agreement with... I feel like this person said, hey, Leo, you're my soulmate. And you're like, nah, bro, I don't think so. The King of Pentacles is somebody, and I feel like it, it could be that the King of Pentacles is somebody who's doing really well for themselves. Maybe that intimidates you. The King of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That person is the one who is very solid and grounded and stable. This person is very logical. This person doesn't run in fire unless they have fire in the moon or the rising. Um, but this person, um, maybe you think that they think that you are toxic. Maybe they're ignoring you. Uh, we do have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's no reciprocity here. No reciprocity. And I do feel that somebody is ignoring you. I want to say that once this person said to you, Leo, that I think that you are my soulmate, I feel like you either didn't answer back or you didn't agree. And it started some sort of a confrontation, an argument, or, you know, maybe we have a difference of opinion and it's just not going to work. But really what I think was going on here is that you were intimidated by the King of Pentacles. Like, it takes a lot to intimidate Leo, and I'm not saying that it's for all of you. But I feel like um, somebody here is like, maybe you thought that you two were too different because you're fire, they're earth. They move slowly, you move quickly. Um, but these are both like your Leo, which is a, a fixed sign, and Taurus is a fixed sign as well. And it is uh, an energy of leadership. Like, we've got two leaders here. Maybe that's the problem, too. The Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse. Maybe you felt like you weren't enough. Maybe you felt like you didn't have enough. You didn't have enough pentacles. That maybe your finances have been impacted. You don't have a lot, a whole lot of confidence here. I'm just looking at the Nine of Pentacles, just reading the cards as they are, right? The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse is, um, I'm not interested. I am focusing on me, focusing on myself. I got to build my pentacles. Maybe this person sort of put you in a place when they told you, look, I think you're my soulmate. And that would mean, of course, that they want to see you more, get into more energy energy with you and then it kind of like you're like no you put up you put up the stop here and uh the six of pentacles tells me that you're at, you know the 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 king of pentacles tells me that your person who told you that you are their soulmate is ready to settle down but maybe you're not because the queen of pentacles is in the reverse so maybe you're just not ready to stick to one person the six of pentacles in the reverse is also it's not very practical that we see each other all the time. I think that's, it's not that you just wanted to turn this person down for the sake of turning them down, but I feel that you think that engaging in a long-term relationship or something that is long-term like pentacles is not practical at this time. And so I feel like somebody pulled away from you or maybe you pulled away from someone after this confrontation here. Why is the devil here? Strength card. I think that you are having some sort of a, um, 
Well, the devil energy is here, so I got to read it, right? The devil energy is here. It's codependence. It's fear. It's something that's obsessive. You might be doing something obsessive um, that is hurting you physically, spiritually, financially. We do have the Queen of Pentacles. It's in the reverse. Uh, we do have the Strength card, which tells me that the reason that you held back from telling this person that I think you're my soulmate too uh, is because of something that has to do with the devil. So you have some sort of an attachment, whether it's an attachment of an old relationship or an attachment with the devil. Like, something that's obsessive and I feel like it's making you hold back from who you are because the strength card is here and that's Leo it's making you hold back from who you are and I want to say that you haven't told this person that you feel this way so I think that this person feels as though you just sort of cut them out because you were like nah, bro, mm -mm, no bro I'm not your soulmate and I feel like this person maybe felt badly about that but it's because there's something going on behind their back that they don't know about and I think it has to do with the devil look it could be an addiction maybe you buy too many shoes maybe that's why you're broke maybe maybe you're yeah, someone whose finances have been impacted because of the last relationship that is an attachment to you and you can't let go of it it feels like there is something here that um that is really um confusing you i want to say that this devil is dictating whatever it is that you get you do in your life from here yeah and it does feel like you know I, I don't have any money to take you out six of pentacles is in the reverse i can't take anybody out i can't spend money on them i'm feeling impacted financially uh, the nine of pentacles is i'm not really on my own two feet maybe somebody's been helping you but i don't think you were honest with the with the king of pentacles feminine or masculine about what's really going on here and it broke their heart they think that you that you um that you have no feelings for them they feel they carried on. I feel like after you broke their heart that they carried on to some sort of new investment here. And they got victory elsewhere. So I feel like they probably are dating someone else or they've been invested in someone else. I feel like you really gave up a soulmate is what you did. You gave up a soulmate. But it's, you know, if you're not ready, you're not ready. Tell me what the outcome is here. We do have the, the Ten of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords. And we do have the Four of Cups. It feels like there is a secret here. You're carrying a secret which is really heavily burdened on you. And that's why you keep to yourself. You stay alone. You don't get involved in relationships. There is something to do with the devil here that is keeping you stuck in the Four of Cups and you're not ready to face it. And so you don't expect that anyone else should face it. Tell me what the secret is. The secret that's weighing Leo down, please. That you've walked away from love. You've decided that, um, that you are just not interested, I feel. Uh, the King of Cups, though, with the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Wands, there it is. So it feels like you're, you are disconnected emotionally is what it is. You're disconnected emotionally and you're only interested in short, in short term things. I feel like you're, you're in more of this Knight of Wands energy, which is sort of instability. I'm not ready to settle down. I just want to do what I want to do when I want to do it. And I mean, I'm not telling you you shouldn't, but it feels like, um, it feels like with this person, though, this person who is, you know, the Taurus Virgo Capricorn person, I think, or it could be a, a, a Scorpio Pisces Cancer. I feel like this person is somebody that um, that you fell in love with, actually. I feel like this is someone that you have really deep feelings for, but they're feeling heartbroken that you didn't want them. And I feel like instead you just carry on with the Knight of Wands energy, not really settling down with anybody. But I want to say that you became disconnected emotionally from this person here because you knew that they wanted something long dist or long long term um we do have the tower here what's the realization the realization is that you really do want to start again you want to talk to this person and be clear with them about what your needs are but you can't it feels like with the five of cups that you're already in regret and sadness and we've got justice and the seven of cups you do want to make things clear because you left things really cloudy with this person i think that this person just feels like you don't want them yeah and i think it broke their heart but, I mean, you need you need what you need as well. It's not just about them, right? I feel like you will connect with them again at some point with the Page of Wands energy and the Ace of Wands in the reverse when you're ready, right? When you're ready, when you're not after passion, when you're not wanting passion, when passion isn't going to control you. Because I feel like this is coming up on the Devil energy. It feels like passion does control you at this point. That you are subject to whatever passions come up, that you just go this way, that way, the other way, and you're just not interested in giving that all to one person. But I want to say that <laughs> the song in my head is um, is Dark Horse by Katy Perry. And the guy who is who raps a little bit in that song, Shoddy's heart is on steroids. Let me listen for a second. 
you played around and got addicted. That's what it was. Yes, that's what it was. I think that you thought that, that this person who is the soulmate here, that this is the person is somebody who you were just, you know, going to give no stability to. You're just going to have the passionate moments and that's it. And I feel like you got addicted. I feel like you can't stop thinking about this person. And I feel like it's, 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 um, it's that person who is who is really sad that they're not connected to you any longer. I feel like you're going to have a realization though about the uh, page of Pentacles here and the uh, Ace. Uh, sorry, the page of Swords. And I feel like you, in the future you are going to reconnect back to this person after you have this realization of what you gave up. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, we do have. Um, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Gemini. Uh, we have Leo energy here. And uh, Capricorn. All right. All right, all right. Tell me about Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Virgo, please. Tell me about Virgo. Virgo, if you're interested in a private read, please look to the top of the comment section. There's a pinned comment. It has a code for 10% off my services until the 30th. If you're interested in a private read, tell me about Virgo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Virgo. Tell me about Virgo. We have the Knight of Wands, my friend. Why is the Knight of Wands here? It's fast moving, brave, stable, passionate. Let's go. That's what it is. <laughs> Let's go get it. Tell me what this is. The Knight of Wands is here for Virgo. We do have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Justice card. And we have the Queen of Swords. Oh. You're holding on to somebody here. They could be a Libra. Could be a Gemini or an Aquarius. It feels like you are really holding tight to justice. It feels like that you have a lot of um, passionate, exciting, desirous feelings for someone here. But I feel as though that you've, you, you're holding on to someone here. And it does feel like you're, what you're holding on to maybe is karmic justice. Um, it feels like the karmic justice is something, it feels like you want to get, you want to have some sort of stability with someone. It could be the Queen of Swords, who is also Libra, but is also Gemini and Aquarius in this reading because it is a general reading. I feel like you're in this energy right now, this introspective energy of trying to see the situation from, from the logical, a balanced sort of energy of the Queen of Swords. I feel like somebody was really honest with you here. It feels like the truth was told, honesty came out, you're still holding on to the hope that you will have some sort of a, um, a passionate rendezvous with the Queen of Swords, but I feel like the Queen of Swords is boundaried up. It feels like the Queen of Swords is, is, has made a decision, right? We've got the two, the two swords here, and it feels like the Queen is blocking you, I want to say. It's not like this person doesn't feel like you're not... You're not full of this desire and all of that, but I feel like the queen is blocking you. Um, the queen of swords, I feel, is somebody who's just going to be really honest with you. Uh, I can't give you justice at this time. It feels like you're holding on to the hope that they will, though. Tell me why um, you're showing up as the knight of wands, please. You might be moving too fast for this person because this person is in logic and reason. I'm going to make, you know, I'm going to look at the facts. I'm going to look at, um, like, this person wants to think about it first. They're in their head and you're in your passion. We do have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. We have the Tower and we have the Page of Swords. So I feel like you have you are having um, some sort of a realization. The reason why the Knight is here, I feel, is because you've had some sort of realization that if you don't go get the Queen, that, that, that there is nothing that you can do but watch them from a distance. And I don't think you like that. I think you want to get some stability with this person, but I feel like the... The Page of Swords is telling me that you're watching them. And as you're watching them, you're having a realization. And that's why you go racing in as the Knight of Wands. Now, maybe this person misconstrues why you're on the horse as the Knight of Wands. But we do have the um, the Ace of Cups in the reverse here. There is, it's like a, it feels like there's no possibility of this thing opening up as a love connection. 
but you're really passionate about them. You're very attracted to the Queen of Swords, and who wouldn't be, right? But I want to say that you've you've hurt this person, right? We've got three swords here. Um, it feels like you've hurt the Queen of Swords, possibly, and this person, but maybe it wasn't you. Maybe it was somebody else. Maybe it was a legal thing that hurt the Queen of Swords, or maybe the Queen of Swords is engaged in something legal and is not really paying attention to you. It feels like in the meantime, whatever's going on here, it feels like that the tower is here. So something's about to shift and change. It's an upheaval of thinking. And the Ace of Cups being in the reverse tells me that it's like you're, this person doesn't love me anymore, or I question, right? The, the, the Page of Swords is the one who is a student. I question whether this person has bigger feelings for me than they're really willing to tell me about. It's like you need some justice here. You need to know exactly what's going on. Tell me what the Queen of Swords, how the Queen of Swords feels here. Tell me about how the Queen of Swords feels. Page of Moons. Moons are cups, by the way, in this deck. So we have the Four of Cups, we have the Page of Cups, and we have the Hermit Energy. So I think what you want is some stable emotional energy with this person. I feel like this person feels you owe them an apology, Virgo. Because this page of um, this page of cups is coming up with the Queen of Swords. I feel like this person feels that you owe them an apology, so they have their back to you. The Queen is holding the sword out to the past, which means her back is to all of this. And so I feel like that the Four of Cups is telling me that we're silent with each other, that we're not showing our affections to each other, and there you are, the Hermit. I feel like this person is not going to speak with you or give you access to them until you fess up, until you decide that you're going to tell them, sorry. Tell me why the Tower is here. King of Wands. Five of Cups and the Ace of Swords. I think that you want to talk to the Queen because I feel you're feeling regretful. Regretful that you didn't take action when you had a moment to take action. The King of Wands is somebody who's always invested in the passionate thing, always wants to do what makes them feel passionate, but nothing's ever going to stop them from getting what they want. And I feel like right now that you're in... You're in this, the hermit is showing up here, and I feel like you're not saying anything or there's no words between you and the queen, but I feel like you. it's like you can't hold back anymore. You want to race in like the knight of, of uh, wands. Um, but if you race in as the knight of wands and the queen is going to stop you with the sword and say, what is your intention? Because the last time you were here, you broke my heart. So I feel like there has to be a really honest conversation between you and the queen of swords. And understand that the queen of swords is somebody who's honest and truthful, assertive, is always going to give you the, the straight goods, the facts, and she doesn't really care how it, fa how it feels for you. Um, and she, her intention is not to hurt you, but she's going to be very honest. I feel like the queen needs justice because she continues to hang on to you. And um, she wants you to come in, I feel, but not before we have a conversation. Because the last time we were together, you broke my heart. I feel like you're having some sort of a realization that you really are feeling sad about not being with this queen here. Tell me what comes, uh, what is the outcome here for these two? We've got the Ten of Swords, we've got the Two of Cups, and we have the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like um, this this Queen is saying, look, we have to talk about this Ten of Swords. We have to talk about the way you betrayed me, or whatever you said really hurt me, or the conversation that we had that hurt us equally. Um, but the Two of Cups is telling me here that after the end of the cycle with the Ten of Swords, that we do have the Two of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. So maybe we can start out as kind, loving friends. Maybe we can start our friendship all over again. Um, I'm, you know, love is not out of the question. Two of Cups is not out of the question. But I think it feels better to the Queen, to be honest with you, and say, look, if you want to be, if you want to be on my team and show me that you can support me and show me that you, that you are somebody who really wants to see me thrive in whatever it is that I do, then we can do this. But otherwise, I don't think that we can because the Five of Wands is here and the Seven of Cups. It's confusing that we have these arguments constantly. And it feels like it's getting really toxic. That's what it feels like. It's like a couple who are going back and forth, in and out, back and forth with each other. Five of Swords, we keep fighting each other. And then we go into this place of silence, Two of Swords, right? I feel, but the new moon is coming up in Gemini. And so there might be a conversation coming up in and around the 6th. Uh, that's when the new moon in Gemini is. And so with the new moon energy being here, possibly, maybe there's going to be a conversation coming up between you and this person here. We've got a lot of swords. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we've got... Uh, 
uh, Capricorn energy here. We've got your energy here, which is Virgo, of course. Lots of cups, Aries, uh, sorry, uh, um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We've got Libra energy, more Scorpio energy. All right. Go to it, Virgo. Libra, this is you, my friend. Sun, moon, rising. Venus and Jupiter, tell me about Libra. Sneak peek for this week for Libra. Sun, moon, rising. Venus and Jupiter. Libra, if you are interested in a private read, please look uh, at the top of the comment section. I've pinned a comment that has a code for 30, or sorry, 10% off until the 30th of June. 10% off all of my services. There's a link to Wizio there as well. Tell me. Tell me about Libra. It's coming up this week. Sneak peek for this week for Libra. We have the Two of Pentacles making a decision in the Pentacle world here. I feel like you've been sort of back and forth on something, but you're coming to a place where it's time to decide. It's time to make a decision, Libra. Tell me about Libra. Tell me more about Libra. What about the chariot? Yeah, it's approaching super quick. So I think it is this week that you're going to have to make some kind of important decision. The Five of Pentacles is here. I feel like you've been growing slowly, but I also want to say that you've been disconnected from other people while you've been growing. We do have the King of Cups. We've got um, Scorpio Pisces Cancer Energy here. Cancer with, um, with, the, with the Chariot here. I want to say that you you're kind of off the grid. That's what it feels like here. That you're you're kind of off the grid and um, you're not really talking to people. You're kind of disconnected. But I think that you've disconnected yourself from people. I want to say, but there is a moment here coming where you're going to have to make some sort of an important decision about where to go next. What are you going to do next after this? It feels like uh, you've been going sort of back and forth on something, but the moment is approaching super quick with this chariot energy that you're going to have to make a decision. It might. Be be about love it might be about emotions um, it might be about whether or not that you're going to be emotionally available or not to somebody or to anybody because I feel like you've been hiding yourself away but it's time to make a decision about what you're going to do tell me about the two of pentacles what's the decision please I feel like you've been hiding yourself away for a long time like you haven't been social you don't you haven't been going out with friends that's what it feels like you've been very focused on your pentacle energy yeah four of cups tells me you're in this stagnant energy and although it's uh you know it's stability right fours are always stability it's a stability of your emotions it feels like um it's like uh, it's time for you to reconnect to love or reconnect to um the very depth of emotions or become emotionally available emotionally aware we do have the um, Knight of Wands, and then we have the Empress. So you're making a decision, I feel, to move forward toward the Empress. The Empress is Libra and um, Taurus energy. The Empress is is someone who is probably older. They're usually in 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 um, childbearing years. Don't have to be. Some people Empress up late in life because this is all about wisdom, right? The Empress and the Emperor. They're, uh, they're, it's all about wisdom and knowledge. And you come to a wisdom to a place where you end up having all of this knowledge and you realize that you're probably better off alone. Um, but the uh, the Prince of uh, of wands is the knight and I feel like somebody is charging in on the empress you're about to make a decision to go from the four of cups to getting on your horse and heading toward the empress here and so I feel like the decision that you're making is about um, it's time to to stop being alone or being on the outside looking in here it's time to um, show somebody your emotional that you are um, emotionally aware, emotionally available. The King of Swords tells me you're ready to uh, be very honest and truthful about someone, uh, to with someone about your feelings, that you're going to reveal your feelings here. And maybe you had them hiding in the moon for a while. We've got three kings. Wow. It feels like you've been doing a lot of work on yourself while you've been in this Five of Pentacles, while you've been disconnected. I feel like you put yourself here, though. I feel like you willingly disconnected from people. You're not talking to people. You weren't engaging. But I feel like this time is something you can't put it off anymore because with the chariot coming the chariot is cancer energy that's emotions and i feel like you have to make a decision at some point about what you're going to do i feel like what you want to do is you want to connect with the empress and i feel like you're going to do it in a very brave and brazen and bold way i want to say um 
I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons here. I want to say that things aren't as they seem because the moon energy is here. And I want to say that you've learned how to be emotionally available. You've learned how to be, um, um, how to, how to love yourself really deeply. And therefore you can now love someone else very deeply. The king of swords is somebody who is very factual and truthful and honest. And I'm going to be very honest with you about the work that I've done while I've been away. The moon energy is here. It's like, a. I feel like what people are failing to see, or maybe, um, what is not as it actually seems is the king of wands. It feels like, um, this, What's hiding in the moon energy is that you really do want to take action. You want to move forward, and uh, but you're waiting for inspiration here. Why are you um, on the outside looking in here? We have the Ace of Wands. We have the, um, the Star. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, it really does feel like you pulled away. I want to say that you pulled away from the people in your life because, I don't know, it feels like you wanted to grow. It's time, like with the star, you wanted to be the star. Maybe you're honing a skill. Um, it feels like you're hopeful that you can go on this new path with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. It feels like there are two two doors that are opening up for you, one that's practical, one that's exciting. And I feel like you're in the center here hoping that one of these paths is the right path, that you're going to pick one of these paths. I feel like with all of these kings here, it feels like you have done a lot of work on yourself. I'm looking at pre-emperor energy. The only one that we don't show, though, is the king of pentacles. So maybe you haven't yet gotten your footing in the pentacle world, and what I mean by that is like you haven't yet... Um, figured out your money maybe you don't have a job or maybe if you do it's not paying enough maybe you're underemployed um, but it feels like it's been a long while since you've talked to the empress and so i feel like there's been a whole lot of changes that have been going on here we do have the devil energy why are the cards falling all over we got the four of wands and we've got the emperor there it is so um now we do have the um we do have the the last king in the room right because the emperor is also the one who has the wisdom and um, the last king is the king of pentacles. So I want to say that you've been disconnected from the empress because maybe, you know, the thing is, is that I feel like anybody who comes in connection with the empress, there is no way that you will not better yourself by being around the empress. I think that's what the, that's what happened here. The four of wands is in the reverse with the devil. So it feels like there is a it's like you were in a situation that you had to release yourself from and it might have been you were living with someone maybe you were in a relationship that was toxic and it feels like you learned from that don't forget that everything that that we come across in this life is going to teach us a lesson it's going to level us up but we have to be um, brave enough to do it i feel like you were in some sort of a karmic connection a toxic connection um and it feels like it's it's no longer and you ended up taking the lessons from that and emperoring up is that's what it feels you've been away for a while and it feels like something happened that you disconnected from everybody maybe people didn't agree with the pe person that you were with but now it's it's the day of reckoning it feels like the emperor now is on the level of the empress and now is going to get on the horse and go i feel like you're going to be connecting with the empress this week or at least thinking about it and um i feel like the empress is not going to see you coming because the um, moon is here with the king of wands the Empress doesn't know that you've you've leveled up. I think you're about to show her that, though. Seven of Wands. We've got uh, the Prince of Swords, who is the Knight, and so it feels like um, it feels like a that this Empress has a lot of boundaries here. But I feel like if you want to go forward, you can. It feels like you've had an aha moment here. The, the, the hanged man energy is here telling me you've had an aha moment and it's time to get on your horse and go. We've got two knights here. You're very brave, very bold. I feel like at this point, you're almost feeling a little bit rebellious. You're like, yeah, I'm showing up as the emperor. Now what? Like, I feel like this person might have might have rejected you before because you weren't on the same you weren't on the same vibrational level as them but you're showing up again you're coming in and this person doesn't see you arriving i feel like you you've done a lot of really hard work on yourself libra and bravo to you um now the thing is is the empress is here right so that's also libra energy so take it as it resonates you're either the empress or you're the emperor right take it as it resonates for you the emperor is the masculine leaning energy the empress is the feminine leaning energy but they both have masculine and feminine energies so we do have uh aries we have um uh, Aquarius here we have Libra and Taurus we have Capricorn uh, we have Taurus Virgo Capricorn and some um, cancer energy all right 
Scorpio. This is you, my friend. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Tell me about Scorpio. What's coming up in the sneak peek for this week for Scorpio? Tell me about Scorpio. Scorpio, if you're interested in a private read, I've pinned a comment to the top of all of the comments there. There's a code if you want to get a private read right now on sale, 10% off until the 30th of June. So we enter this reading here, Scorpio, with feeling like you're, you're finally unloading some really heavy shit you've been carrying around. That's what it feels like. You're ready to finally um, drop the burdens of something here. It's been very heavy. It's kind of brought you to your knees, whatever this is. Tell me what, what you are releasing, because that's what it is, right? Once we get to the Ten of Wands, you can now release it all. And um, once the Ten is in the room, then we know that the next step is going to the Ace of Wands. So we've got uh, the Ten of Wands here. Why? We've got the World card. I like it. So, yes, you have accomplished something here, Scorpio. I feel like today or this week, you're feeling a lot lighter about something. You've either made a decision or closed the door on a chapter that was super heavy. It was very burdensome. You were carrying not only your burdens in life, but you were carrying someone else's burdens as well. And it feels like with the World card here, it feels like it's a... It is a... It's like things have come full circle. Maybe you started in burdens and now it's come full circle and now you're dropping the burdens. That's what it feels like here. But the world card is telling me that you are closing the chapter on something and you are open to, um, I think it's about time, I'm going to say, because he's standing on a, a sand timer here. I'm going to say it's it's about time because the world card is, is Taurus, uh, it's, it's all the fixed signs, right? Uh, it's Taurus, uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, and that's slow moving, very strategic. Um, I'm going to do it when I'm going to do it. Don't push me to do it. I will close the door when it's time for me to have this, this moment of realization or this thing, this full circle moment, it'll happen. And I feel like that's about to come up for you this week. Um, the world card, tell me more about the world card. You're not only dropping the burdens, but you're closing the door, closing the chapter on whatever caused the burdens here. We do have the uh, Three of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. So it does feel to me that you've learned something um, about about some sort of a partnership that you were in. It could be a business partnership. It could be a love partnership. Take it as it resonates for you, but I feel like you're closing the door on a partnership. It feels like you've learned something here that's made things very complicated. I want to say very heavy. Um, it's, it's time to get out from under all of these burdens. And it feels like you are closing the door on, a, on some sort of a partnership. I think it took you a long time to do it, though. And I feel like that there was a lot of arguments and fights. It took you a long time to realize because, you know, the truth is, is I feel like you were wanting to be super slow, strategic. It's like I it's like you you wanted to see the psychologist, see the counselor for the relationship, if that's what I'm talking about. It's like you wanted to do whatever you could to learn how to deal with this situation so you didn't have to close the door but i think that we've come up with just the, the page of swords feels like you learned something about this partnership that was unsavory or un unfortunate tell me about the page of swords what did you learn we've got the knight of cups Ooh, we've got the devil One more. Six of Swords, there it is. Somebody was it was it was a toxic connection here. I feel like it was a romantic connection, and what you learned about the romantic connection is the devil. It feels like it, it got really deeply toxic, I wanna say. And um, the devil energy of course is obsession. It's obsession, it's codependency, it's somebody who doesn't have a whole lot of self-esteem, it's somebody who is trying to portray themselves to other people like something that they're not, and I think that you got caught up in that. It feels like that there, this was a romantic connection, but I feel like that once, once, once you got down deep into what this was, it turned out to be quite quite toxic and I feel like you ended up carrying it all. You ended up carrying the relationship, not only your side but their side as well. I feel like um, Scorpio that it feels like there is a, a love connection here that I feel like you're leaving. I feel like you're like I gotta leave this toxicity behind. I can't do this. 
it feels like um, someone else might have also had an attachment of romance from the past, uh, your person possibly, uh, but it feels like you decided that this was too chaotic. You couldn't hang out with this, this um, it's like, a, it doesn't feel very good. It feels like muddy water. That's what I'm seeing right now. It's like when I was a child and um, we have lots of lakes around where I live, but not a lot of them are clean, like super clean. Like it's not like Mexico for sure. You know what I mean? It's not like clear water like that. And it feels like muddy water. Oh. Um, so I'm hearing um, Imagine Dragons and the name of the song is Sharks. Sharks in the muddy water hide away your sons and daughters to keep them alive. Better put your head on swivels. Dealing with the very devil, butter to knife. So I feel like somebody was spreading it very thick and finally you realized that you were in the muddy waters with the sharks. Because in that song he says, you think you're better than them, better than them. You think they're really your friends, really your friends. But when it comes to the end, to the end, you're just the same as them, same as them. I think, the, whew, I just got head to toe chills. Scorpio, I think that you realize that the people you were hanging out with were not good for you. They were tainting your vision of life. They were tainting your vision of romance, tainting your vision of love. It feels like um, you finally learned all of this. And you were in a partnership with somebody who is quite, who is occupying the muddy waters. It's like a, the, they wanted to blur the line. And so whenever you said, hey, you can't do that, that's not right, they would blur the lines and they would say, what do you mean? That's not what I really meant. It's like gaslighting, right? That's It feels like gaslighting. Tell me about this partnership. Got the Knight of Wands, the Hanged Man, the Star. You were like, really? Is this person giving me stability? Like it was an illusion, I feel. It was an illusion of you thinking that this person was in it like all in like you were, but I don't think that they were. The hanged man is, now I'm in a different perspective about the Knight of Wands. This person's really not giving me any stability. They're not giving me stability in the business. They're not giving me stability in the partnership, whatever the Three of Pentacles is for you, in the friendship, or um, they're not on my side. I thought this person was on my side. But I think you hung around because you were hopeful that you were going to get a better perspective, that maybe I'm just seeing it from my side. It's It feels like somebody was gaslighting you. Like you knew it was a certain way, Scorpio, but it feels like somebody was gaslighting you. And it's almost like you accepted it because you were in a loving relationship with this person. But it feels like uh, the star is like, well, I hope it's not what I think it is. I'm just going to sit and think on it a bit. I hope it's not what I think it is. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Eight of um, Eight of Swords and the um, and the Faith card, which is the Hierophant. Yeah. So I feel like there's an engagement here or somebody is was either engaged or living with or committed to somebody else, whether you were living together or not. You could have been married. I don't know that it got that far, though. I feel like the intention was that we're going to commit. But now, once this information came out, once you realize what's really going on, then it's like now you're up in your head with the Eight of Swords and the Hierophant telling me that, I don't know, this probably isn't the right decision. And maybe you walk away from that. Like that's what the Eight of Cups is telling me. That this person is emotionally disengaged from you and you were hoping that, that you were not seeing it for what it really was. But I feel like the Hanged Man eventually gives you what you need. You realize what's going on. So this is all weighing really heavy on you with the Ten of Wands. So I feel like you were carrying the whole relationship. You were dragging someone along here, Scorpio. We've got the Three of Wands. Yeah, you kept waiting for this person to say something. You could be dealing with a Gemini possibly. But you were waiting for this person to say something. I invest in you. I'm going to invest in you. I'm going to, um, you know, we're going to, we're going to invest in this together. Let's go on this new path of passion. You were waiting. The three of wands, waiting for this person to finally aggressively be, yeah, I'm in too. But they never were because I feel like they were dealing in some sort of toxic energy. There was another person. So in this kind of reading, whenever I see the queen of wands show up, it's because it's the other woman or another person. I feel like uh, this person was dealing with someone else. We've got the Nine of Cups. They see happy. They saw happiness in someone else. They saw wish fulfillment in someone else. The Emperor is here, so they took charge. It feels like you figured out that you were dealing with somebody who is just being completely dishonest with you. And that's why you closed the door. That's what it feels like here. We do have the Page of Cups. And um, 
I feel like um, it was a surprise. I feel like it surprised you. But once you realized what was going on finally, I feel like it's time for you to cut out. We do have uh, Aries energy. We have Taurus. We have Aries Sagittarius Leo energy. We've got uh, Aquarius Capricorn. Um, we've got Pisces. Um, and uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo. Right. Sagittarius, here we go. Tell me what's going on with Sag. Sagittarius, this is your sneak peek for this week. If you are interested in a private read, please look at the comment section. Uh, just above the comment section, I've pinned a note for you there. Everything you need to get your 10% off of any of my services till the 30th, it's all in that pinned comment. Tell me about um, Sagittarius, please. What's coming up for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter? Sneak peek for this week for Sagittarius, please. We've got the Six of Pentacles. Sagittarius, I feel like you're overgiving again. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It feels like you are, you're in this place, I feel, where you are, you are the reciprocal energy, I want to say, that you are, you're always giving to other people, giving in kindness. Mm. Okay, Charlie just said, nope, that person's not begging for attention anymore. Okay, that's what it is. I feel like somebody's not begging for it anymore. So we've got the um, Four of Wands. And that's not to say that you were on your knees begging somebody, but I feel like it's almost like you were chasing somebody. I'm going to say feminine or masculine. You were the one that was chasing the other person. You were holding on really tight to them. I feel like you were just very giving. I think that's the energy that I felt when it first came out, that you're very giving, but you were overgiving. And I feel that um, you can't keep giving and overgiving to someone who doesn't appreciate the littlest things. You can't just keep, it's not going to hold the relationship together or the connection together or the friendship together if you just keep overgiving and they just keep taking. Because that's what it feels like here, the overgiver and the taker. That's what it feels like. The person would take it from you and then they would they would be miserly with it. They wouldn't give it back. They weren't returning reciprocally. You thought you were in a ten uh, pentacle relationship. You thought you were in a long-term relationship here, but somebody was only taking and you were only giving. We do have the uh, Hermit energy here, and we have the Six of Swords. Yeah, it does feel like it's a love situation here. So I, I want to say that it feels like that there is, I feel like it's you who is the one who kept giving and giving and giving. This person kept taking, and givers got to be careful because takers will just take. And I think from your side of the relationship, because they were enjoying whatever you were giving them, you thought that the relationship was working, or the friendship, or whatever whatever the connection is that you had with another person. I feel, though, that you went into hermit mode, though, and you realized that this person was not giving back. They were being miserly. They weren't giving you as much as you were giving them. You were over giving, giving them gifts and giving them pentacle things. Maybe you were cooking and doting and, and all of those things for them. And I feel like you kept come to a place here with the hermit energy is you come you become wise to it. <laughs> yeah, you become wise to the situation finally. I feel like this is a, um, a situation that's probably about deep love. Um, you are showing up as the Queen of Cups here. And so I feel like the Queen of Cups is the one who is the compassionate, loving, empathic, kind, doting, right? Which is Six of Pentacles all over it. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, please. What were you giving this person? You were giving them love. You sure were. You were giving them everything. All the compassion, the empathy, the depth of kindness. You were uh, possibly mothering their children. Um, this could be feminine or masculine. Maybe you were fathering their children. And I don't think that their children are your children, is what I'm saying. I feel like you were acting in that way. And I feel that you thought that there was things that were growing here. Um, you spent, you know, some time face to face, but I don't think you spent a lot of time face to face with this person, to be honest. <coughs> Because the page of uh, pentacles is here. I feel that you got FaceTime with them. Um, but I don't feel like it was a lot of FaceTime. Because it's a page energy. This person I feel was giving you some of their energy. But wasn't giving you a whole lot of their energy. We do have the six of cups. It feels like you felt that this is a soulmate connection. And so that's why you should give to them. I'm just going to caution you. Just a word of caution. Too many people think that everybody's their soulmate. And although we do have a lot of soulmates, soulmate energies are very easy and they are reciprocal. They go back and forth and they're just super easy relationships to deal with. Unless you find somebody who is an unhealed soulmate and then that can be a little tough. 
So I feel like once you became wise to it, I feel like you dis- you're you making a decision to leave here, that this became too chaotic. I feel like you're stuck with a lot of memories, but you're now that you're looking back on the memories, right? Because I don't know about you, but I'm at level 56. And when I look back there, I realize everything that played into where I am right now. And this is what this feels like. You have a realization that all the good times, all the, the fun, the happiness, the heart space stuff, was given by you they weren't giving you anything in return it stayed at the page of pentacles they were giving you face time but they weren't giving you a whole lot of face time tell me uh what the six of swords is about tell me about the six of swords because i feel like you're making the decision to move along here i feel like uh somebody here is not giving you a whole lot of attention they're being miserly with their time their energy their money um, not taking you out anywhere we do have the uh, Four of Swords with the Ace of Swords and we have the Chariot. So it feels like where you're going is is to heal the self. I feel like you're going into Hermit mode to heal the self. Six and four is ten. This person betrayed you. And, uh, you know, this person betrayed you, but please understand that you allowed it, right? You kept giving and giving and giving, hoping this person would return in reciprocal energy and they didn't and you just kept giving and giving and giving. So please use that as... Um, Please know your pattern. <laughs> if that is you I'm talking about, and I'm sorry if you're offended, sorry, not sorry. I'm just going to read the cards as they are. I don't mean to offend you. And if you're offended, that's a choice as well. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to say that it's a betrayal here, that you come become wise to the fact that, that, it, that you are feeling betrayed because this person really hasn't given you much. As you look back on these memories here, this person really didn't give you a whole lot. So I feel like this... Um, this uh, Ace of Swords, uh, four, uh, 4 and 1 is 5, it feels like you get some clarity after an argument. That's what it feels like. You get some clarity after an argument. You may have said to this person, look, you're not giving me a whole lot of time and attention and energy. What's going on? So why weren't they giving you time, attention, and energy? Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles for Sagittarius, please. So we got the sun, <coughs> the five of pentacles, and the seven of wands. I feel like this person was holding back. They were holding back possibly because there was competition that you didn't know about. So we do have the seven of wands. This is the way it breaks up here. Two of wands are in the hand, telling me that you're at the, or this person was at the crossroads of their life, not really knowing what they wanted. Five wands are down here. It tells me that you were probably in some sort of competition with other people. They were giving their energy to other people. And that's what it was. We've got the five of pentacles here. And when they were giving energy to the other people, you didn't hear from them. They may not have texted you. They may not have really, like maybe you went days without hearing from them. The sun is here, though, so now you see everything for what it is. You see the lack. The sun is here shining on the f five of pentacles. You see the lack. You see it all now. Now you see it all, unfortunately. So I feel like after some sort of, some sort of hard conversation, it feels like you decided to have the talk with this person and because you were feeling pretty badly about it i think you had a realization and um while you were in this hermit mode energy here and you had you you spoke with this person very clearly very honest very truthful i need to give get clarity i need to give clarity four of swords and one is five and that is battles and personal disagreements uh, it's a bit of egoic energy here and it ended up in somebody getting in their car and leaving here somebody had their feelings under the surface i don't think that they ever really showed you any of their feelings on the surface and when you finally questioned them about it i feel like this person is like look if that's all you got for me is questioning me constantly i'm gonna go you know how that you've probably been in a situation where you finally got somebody's number and then they're like oh you're just gonna like they turn it on you it's like gaslighting moment. They turn it on you and say, oh, if that's how you're going to be, then I'm going to go. Meanwhile, they had checked out already. Yeah, somebody here, the Eight of Pentacles, sorry, the Eight of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Yep, you became you became smarter. You learned, I feel like this is, uh, you learned that this person was actually just breaking your heart. This person got in their vehicle and left and, and just disconnected from you emotionally. And if this hasn't happened yet, um, I hope it's not going to happen to you. But it does feel like you are going to become smarter to the situation. I feel like there is, um, you know, there's six swords here, which is here. And so it tells me that it feels like you disconnect from the chaos. I'm not going to deal with you anymore. That's what it feels like here. 
it was an emperor. So it was somebody who probably was giving you this energy of, but I'm really busy. I have a lot of businesses. Um, my work is really busy. And meanwhile, they had people that were competing in, in the comments, or not in the comments, sorry, in the, in the DMs for them. I feel like that, that you finally became aware of what they were doing and i feel like you just wanted to keep this relationship because you knew you had an emperor in your presence and it was somebody i, I feel like that if if you're an emperor if they're an emperor you must be an empress or you must be at the empress level and um because the empress cannot attract anything except for what she is and if you attracted an emperor that means you're probably an empress so i feel like you attracted this person you're like look i got me an emperor right so i feel like you're a business owner they're a business owner and it feels like this person was hiding behind um hiding behind whatever they had going on in their life and they were they were sort of putting um, you know labels on it like oh I'm busy at work I've got a new business I'm opening I got to be there for the opening of this business like it feels like they were putting you at the end at the end of everything and uh, I feel like you became wise to it yep that's the wisdom right here tell me about the hermit we've got the death card yeah and the world card Ooh, jeez well <laughs> I guess we were just uh, talking exactly about what was going on, right? So we got the death card, we've got the world card, and the empress. You decided, Nabra, you can't do that to the empress. And you closed the door. I think that's what this is. What's next for Sag? You know your worth, right? You know your worth, and I'm very proud of you for that. You know your worth. You closed the door. You brought this thing full circle and said, nope, you can't do that to me. Once you realized it and you became wise to it, bravo to you. Tell me what comes next for Sag, please. We've, oh, look at that. It opens a brand new path of um, that is something that is in the, something that you've always wanted to do, I think. This is uh, something that you've been thinking about obsessively, this Ace of Pentacles here. I feel like you just go on your way. You open some sort of a, a new path, new lucrative path, I want to say. But I'm going to say you're just, you're still in this energy here because I feel like whatever went down caused a tower, right? This is really tough energy here. You real It's a realization. Your heart is breaking that this person was playing you. But I feel like what comes next really is the ace, uh, the ace of pentacles. And that is a new door that's opening, possibly in happiness. Look, the only time that the universe ever takes away something is when it's not good for us. Is when the emperor, the emperor moved out of your way for a reason. It's because the ten of cups is actually on the way in the future. But I feel like this is a lot of hard energy that you're dealing with right now, my friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're dealing with that. So we have Scorpio. We have uh, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. We've got Aries, more Scorpio. We've got Aquarius energy, Capricorn. Uh, we have uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We've got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, we've got Virgo energy, Leo energy. All right. Capricorn. Let's find out what's going on for Capricorn this week. Sneak peek for this week. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Capricorn. Capricorn, if you're interested in a private read, please look at the the um, the pinned comment at the top of all the comments below this video. Everything you need is there. 10% off my services until the 30th of June. Tell me what is going on for Capricorn. Tell me what's coming up this week. Sneak peek for this week for Capricorn. Capricorn. We have the Three of Pentacles. This is friendship. This is a, a people, a group of people who are like-minded. Maybe people that you look up to or who look up to you. This is a partnership. This is people who are on your team. Tell me about this. This is teamwork. Tell me more about this for Capricorn. We've got the Six of Wands. I like it. Victory in this new group, this new partnership, um, this new, maybe it's a, a new networking group. Um, but I want to say that they're quite enamored with you. I feel like uh, that maybe they're looking up to you because I feel like you're the one that gets all the attention. I want to say you're the one who is maybe on social media getting attention possibly. People are cheering you on. I want to say that, yeah, you get a lot of attention. I want to say that this is really overdue for you, Capricorn, because I feel like you've been working so hard. Um, and 
you finally have found a group of people who are on your side, who have your back, and they're very excited about whatever it is that you do in your life, whether it's a job or whatever it is that you do. They're very excited for you. I feel like they do cheer you on here. Uh, we do have the Eight of Cups. It did cause you to walk away from another um, another group of people, I think. Group of people or a person. Take it as it resonates. But we do have the Page of Cups. I feel like this group kind of just dropped in out of nowhere. Or you met somebody new and they took you into a new group of people. But I feel like it's quite by accident or, or surprise, I want to say, that... Um, I feel like when you started getting the attention, started getting success, when they realized that you weren't going to lay down and take it, because the Six of Wands is about coming from a place that's really hard, right? It's coming coming from a place that's super hard. And um, I feel like you, you um, came from maybe trauma or a really hard time, and you're finally getting the victory. And when you got the victory, I think your old group of people or old friend or old relationship or maybe your family, whoever it is, for you, they walked away. I feel like they disconnected from you because you started doing really well. This is what happens when we try and leave a vibration, right? We're in a group of people where maybe all they talk about is each other. When one gets up to go to the bathroom, they all talk about each other. That's what it feels like. And then when you started doing really good and getting attention and doing really well, I feel Capricorn, that's when people started dropping off one by one. And that's exactly what happens if you decide to better yourself and move away from a group, or maybe you just make yourself too busy with whatever you're getting, um, this, this exciting um, group of people who are cheering you on, um, your other group of people didn't like it or your best friend didn't like it or whoever the person is I'm talking about, whoever it is for you. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles, please. Tell me what we need to know about the Three of Pentacles, about the partnership, the group of people, the networking group. What is this? Oh, they do like you. <laughs> I feel like they're going to teach you a lot of things because we do have somebody here who's in, who's looking up to another person, right? This person is looking up to that person while other pe person is hard at work. I feel like it's like a group of people who are um, who are um, sort of on your side, or maybe they're accomplishing things in the pentacle world as well. And then when the sun shows up, it's like on steroids. I want to say that you can see clearly these people don't hide anything from you they don't hide anything they're actually really genuine and grounded and stable and working hard in the pentacle world and you know if you want to they say if you want to be a millionaire hang out with millionaires if you want to be a, a thousandaire hang out with thousandaires you know what i mean so i feel like the sun is here and you're in a really big growth spurt and so i feel like the people who were in your past they just weren't excited about you um, standing out front and getting the spotlight they weren't excited about your new growth spurt which I feel came in your career, um, specifically um, in your pentacles. I feel like you started making more money, getting more notice. People like you. Yeah, that's what it feels like here. Tell me more about the sun. We have the four of pentacles. And we have the Queen of Cups. I feel like people, unfortunately, that, that you had a lot of love for or really great connection, deep loving connection with, those people started holding back. I feel like they shut down, shut off. They weren't really they weren't really talking to you anymore. I feel as though they see you as someone who is completely different now, someone who's grown, someone who is really now in touch with their feelings, someone who's in touch with the psychic self. Um, and I feel like this is um, somebody, uh, it could be a group of people, um, but it, it's the Four of Pentacles is about being shut down, shut off. Um, not really talking to you. And I think it came because of the sun. I think that they don't like all of the attention that you get. I think that's what it is here. Tell me um, tell me about this new group of people, please. The ones that are all, um, the, the ones that are helping Capricorn, the ones that are um, cheering Capricorn on. So these people are all really, um, it feels like they, they are people who are invested in justice. They are very happy people. They are people who are really deep thinkers. So people who don't, that they are, um, they are uh, part of the world, but they're not of the world. You know what I mean? So they go into society when they have to, but otherwise they, they are deep thinkers who bring about change through justice. You could be with a group of people who are 
um, all about justice and having balance. And um, it feels like it makes you happy to be there. This is a happy group of people. And I feel like the other people that you were hanging out with were not necessarily happy for you. That's what it feels like here. So you've got the Six of Wands. What happened when you became popular here? Yeah, they started, they started shutting down. They betrayed you. They started talking about you behind your back. The Seven of Wands is here. And it tells me that all of a the sudden, their boundaries were up. And they, they weren't taking your calls. It feels like they started saying things behind your back. They were deceitful and liars. And it feels like with the Ten of Swords here that once you started getting recognition or doing really well or making more money, they were naysayers. They were betraying you behind your back. That's what it feels like. So what's coming up for Capricorn, please? Because I feel like you've got this really great new group of people who give you hope, who know that you are the star of something because you are the person who is getting... Um, a lot of attention here you are going to completely and totally transform who you are and I feel like it's because these people are all invested in self um, promotion and they're invested in making money through being who they are it's like a the difference between branding and marketing. It's like you're the brand and these other people are into marketing. Do you know what I mean? Like you already know who you are and I feel like the transformation, uh, I feel like you now know who you are because you've been working on yourself and I feel like you're in a group of people who are happy and balanced and deep thinkers and I feel like you're just going to follow along. I feel like they see your star, your star energy, that you're very hopeful. I feel like this is a big transformation for you. So if you haven't met this group i feel like you are going to maybe meet one person who might bring you into a group of people we do have the two of pentacles we have the ace of pentacles and we have the judgment card so we do you go from having not a whole lot of money or maybe juggling going back and forth about what to do you go from that to to a brand new opportunity with this three of pentacles this group of people we started out with the three of pentacles under here so it feels like this group of people um they are people who are on your side. They really like you. Um, they are they are giving you opportunities or pointing you into the direction of other opportunities. And you make are making decisions that are life changing. I love it. Very nice. Yep. There's happiness celebration here. You're meeting people who are kings. Like I I was just saying, right? If you want to be a millionaire, hang out with millionaires. If you want to be a queen or a king, hang out with queens and kings. And I think that's exactly what you're doing here. I feel like you're hanging out with kings and queens. You're learning things. Gemini is very smart. Like, very smart. I feel like you are hanging out with people who are highly intelligent. You're enjoying having fun with these people who are highly intelligent. The King of Swords is here, of course. <laughs> All right. The King of Swords is the one who's heading up the whole thing. I think the judge, the magistrate, the lawyer, the, and I'm, they don't have to be any of those things. But, you know, the King of Swords is somebody who's invested in using their mind to do the best thing for everyone involved. I feel like you're in a really good group of people or you're about to meet somebody, maybe the King of Swords, who's highly intelligent, who's very invested in justice, right? Justice at the center of the reading. I feel like this person is somebody who's going to help you push your life forward. It's going to change everything. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a really great reading. It's going to change everything. Learning who this person is or getting to meet this King of Swords, whatever sign they are, is, is uh, really going to... Um, is really going to change your life. I feel like you have a changing moment coming up in your life here. We've got Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo, Pisces. Um, we've got Scorpio energy here, more Aquarius energy, Libra, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We've got Leo energy a couple of times, and we've got Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. All right. Speaking of Aquarius, <laughs> here we go, Aquarius. This is for you. This is your sneak peek for this week, my friends. Thank you for all of your views and your clicks on my last video. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for, for all of your support. I really do love your smarty pants energy. Thanks for it. And let's find out what's going on for you. If you are interested in a private reading, Aquarius, please look below in the comment section. I've pinned something to the top of the comment section that gives you all the information you need if you want to get 10% off of my services till the 30th of June. Tell me about uh, Aquarius, please. Tell me about Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. Tell me about Aquarius. We do have the King of Wands. What are you feeling inspired to do this week? I feel like you, it's almost like you are... Yeah, you've got that wand. You're about to get out of your seat here and go and do something here. What is this? Tell me about the King of Wands. 
Tell me about the King of Wands. Oh, it's something that you have been wanting to do for a really long time. It's something that you know is going to work. Look, kings are not going to go out and just take risks on just anything, right? It's something that you know is going to work because you've already done your homework. We've got the Knight of Pentacles facing into the past, but I think it's because the, the, the Knight of Pentacles is like the King of Wands is looking back. They're saying, okay, I've got that one. It's like you're checking off lists of things that you wanted to do. It's like everything from all from back there, you wanted to do all these things before you could take action in the 3D here. And... Um, the Knight of Pentacles tells me that you're moving at it really slowly, being very cautious. The Four of Swords, it's like you're peeking your head out the door. Is it safe to come out? The Four of Swords is like I was healing. I was keeping to myself. But now it's time to... Um, to show everyone else what it is that I've been either working on or I'm inspired to do or the things that um, the things that I've been going over in detail here. Uh, we do have the Eight of Cups. And so it does feel like what you're doing is you're, you're disconnecting from this Four of Swords energy. That's what it feels like. You're disconnecting from the Four of Swords energy because I feel like you've been there for a while. It's time to move along and release the Four of Swords energy here. All right, so there's something here transforming. And um, I just feel like the King of Wands is your energy, feminine or masculine. I know it's fire energy and you're an air sign, but it does feel like this is sort of encompassing your energy for the week. And I feel like um, there is something that has transformed you into feeling like you are um, ready to take action because this king looks like he's ready to get up out of his chair here yeah you're going on some sort of a new path something that you have not taken lightly you've thought it out really carefully the queen of swords is here this is not someone who just makes willy-nilly decisions right this person is somebody who has liberated themselves from many situations that didn't work from maybe you've had failed businesses or maybe you've had ideas that just went flat but i feel like this uh, queen of swords energy is telling me that you're standing up and being counted so the queen of swords is someone who's very articulate, very highly intelligent, somebody who's very um, um, assertive. Um, and I feel like it's, I feel like this page of swords is looking straight at death in the face. I'm going to say looking at death in the face. I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of transformation. Bring it. That's what it feels like here. You're you're about to hop onto a new path or a new timeline here. And I think that you're very sure of it. I want to say that it's something that you're not questioning at all. It's like you, you already have all of the information that you need and you know that you're going to uh, do well on whatever path this is. Tell me what's coming up for Aquarius, please. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. And we have the Ace of Cups. So it's something that you really love. So it's not something, I want to say that it's, it's something that is creative, but it feels like it's something that um, is not only going to... Uh, 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 fulfill your passions but it's also going to fulfill your happiness like your emotional happiness it feels like you've been waiting for a while for it um the knight of swords is telling me that you are charging toward it whatever it is that you want what is this please maybe you're just not ready to show the world your your creativity or whatever creative thing that you've got going here yeah, it's still growing and you're not showing people. You're keeping it under under um, cover here. We've got the Seven of Swords. It feels like you're keeping it concealed or undercover. The Seven of Pentacles is telling me that it's it's still not ready to show people. But when it is, you will let them know. You will tell them and give them great clarity. So I think that that you're not... it exactly ready to show everybody whatever this is whatever what is this <laughs> what is this tell me what this is here it's like you've been oh i just heard diana ross singing i'm coming out i want the world to know i'm gonna let it show so um it feels like there is is something here that you've been working on under the surface we've got the nine of cups we've got the queen of wands and the hermit I feel like it's a glow up. I feel like you've really changed, I want to say. Like maybe you have been away from people, doing this planning, taking care of yourself. We've got the hermit energy, which tells me you're wiser. You have more knowledge, more wisdom. 
but you're keeping it concealed. You have been keeping it concealed for a while. The Queen of Wands is telling me that you've got some sort of glow up going on or somebody else who is connected to you is about to see you like them, like themselves. The Nine of Cups and the Queen of Wands, it's wish fulfillment. The Queen of Wands might be your wish fulfillment. Look, I don't know if you're masculine or feminine, but we've got wands on the table and not swords, right? We've got one Queen of Swords. I mean, that could be an energy that's yours as well. But it does feel like heavily into the Queen and the King of Wands energy. It feels like you're about to reveal yourself to someone else after going through a glow up, taking care of yourself. You've changed in some way. You've changed something. And it's because you're wiser. I tell you what, I've always said that... Um, uh, when you, wisdom, and for those of you who are younger, you, you don't know this yet. It's not that you don't have wisdom, but I'm telling you, there's something really delicious that happens to men in their 40s. And it's wisdom. It's like they've learned a few things. It shows on their face. It shows in their attitudes. Some of them, not all of them. And I say that because I'm a heterosexual female. I'm talking about masculines. But to you, it might be a feminine or a masculine, depending on who you love, right? And um, I feel like... a Somebody is really seeing a very sexy, smoldery, more full of wisdom. Now I know what I'm doing and what I'm talking about. And now I'm ready for the Ace of Cups. Like it feels like somebody is coming out. I want the world to know. I'm going to let it show. That's what Diana Ross says in that song. And so I feel like somebody is coming out of hiding, out of the hermit energy as the Queen of Wands. So I don't know if there's someone that you're going to see and they've been going through this or you've been going through this and this person's going to see you. Take it as it resonates. Tell me what happens next. We've got the Ten of Swords. We've got the Seven of Cups and the Fool. Look, it feels like there was a something that was really terrible back here. Like there was, it feels like you went into hiding after a betrayal or after a really hard ending. And it was very hard and overly emotional. But then what comes next is the Fool. I feel like you either come out showing yourself as the Queen or the King of Wands or the Queen of Swords and maybe all of it. But it feels like it's... um. It's like you're coming out to show the world, look, you thought I was gone. You thought that I was just doing nothing. And you thought that I was I was out of the picture and I'm not. Um, it's like you're making a comeback. That's what it feels like here. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're making a comeback. And so I feel like whatever you are, the King or the Queen of Wands, I feel like one of them is coming back for the other one. The Lovers is here. It was it was something that we didn't see that was going on here. There was no investment in the past, but now there is going to be an investment here bottom of the deck we have the magician you definitely are the magician i love it and we've got the two of cups we've got the empress so maybe we're talking about the empress and we have the world card so somebody here has definitely had a glow up yep worked really hard on myself with the eight of pentacles the world card is here we've got uh the milestone or the achievement here we're finally closing the door on something somebody has leveled up here to the empress energy feminine or masculine and now it's time for love someone is way more confident that now i can move forward in, on this new path here all right good job aquarius all right so we have aquarius energy we have gemini we've got virgo aries sagittarius leo we've got more aries energy virgo energy um, we've got uh, Aries again, Gemini. Uh, we've got uh, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. We've got Scorpio energy here, and um, more Virgo and uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. All right, here we go. Here we go, Pisces. This is for you, my friends. Thanks for hanging out. If you've watched up to here, thank you so much. Let's take a look here. Find out what's going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Pisces, please. Pisces, if you're interested in a private read, please look to the top of the comment section. I pinned a comment. There's a sale on until the 30th of June, 10% off. Take the code with you. And there's a link there. Let's find out what's going on for Pisces this week. Sneak peek for this week. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Pisces. We do have the Empress. Well, there we are. Just like that. Lots of abundance. Everything you need and want. You are a creator of your own world. Your own abundance. Tell me about the Empress. What do we need to know about the Empress? Oh, gosh. The sun is shining on you. So I want to say that you, your abundance is about to blow up. I want to say your expansion is inevitable. And it feels like, like with the sun, 
the sun, everything grows under the sun. You can see everything under the sun. Everything toward your your abundance here is crystal, crystal clear. Whether you're having children or you're creating money or creating a new path or creating a family or creating abundance, whatever it is, I feel like the sun is here to tell you that it's, it's about to go like sideways in the very best way here. The very best way for you, Pisces. Tell me more about Pisces. Yeah, it's your money. I feel like you're about to have some sort of a windfall. Like the spotlight is going to be on your pentacle world. Things are about to change in a huge, huge, I want to say it twice, in a huge way, Pisces. Things are about to change here. The king of coins tells me you become financially well off and your abundance is clear. Like it, your path is clear. Everything is really clear. Tell me more. We've got the king of wands. So it's time for you to take action. I love it. The king of wands is somebody who is inspired. I feel like you are not only inspired, but I feel like you're about to inspire other people about how they can also become financially stable, how they can work really hard and build themselves up to here. That you really didn't need any help. You did it all by yourself. I feel like with the Empress here, the Empress is single. Um, this Empress is somebody who doesn't really need a companion, but has put themselves in a, the beautiful position of wanting something. So now because you don't need it, nobody, anybody that comes into your life now, Pisces, after this moment, is never going to have a job or a function. Like you don't need somebody to bring you a skill because you have all the skills. You have all the skills, all the money. And I feel like you're going to be inspiring other people. I feel like you're going to be in the spotlight about some sort of abundance here. Um, judgment. Look at this. Big cards. The lovers. What's going on? <laughs> what is going on here? So we do have the lovers here. I feel like there's a judgment being made here, but I don't think it's your decision. I think somebody else is making a decision about you. I feel with the lovers here, this Gemini energy that someone is choosing you or making a choice. And the judgment card tells me that it's going to change your life and it's going to change theirs. Look, there is so much change going on here. I don't even think we even need to talk about the Three of Swords. I feel like it's, you know, it's like, I want to say that the Three of Swords being here and the Lovers, it feels like even the people who maybe turned you away or broke your heart or now they're going to be coming back, I want to say, or they want to have now want to have a piece of you or a piece of your life because they see how, in, how inspiring you are, how you're inspiring people, how you're loving on people, how just the, the very um, essence of you. Pisces, kind and loving and generous and, and beautiful. I feel like um, somebody here is now going to rue the day. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that. They're going to be really sad and, and disappointed that they let you go. I feel like somebody here is making a huge decision uh, to choose you. Here, tell me about this. Tell me about this. Lovers and the judgment card, please. There's so many ways I want to clarify this. This could take a bit. Tell me about the judgment card, please. Wow, the world card is here. We have the Eight of Swords and then we have the Queen of Swords. Somebody sees that you're standing in your own power here, Pisces. Feminine or masculine, you are standing in your own power. That you're very balanced. This is Libra energy, right? Of course, Gemini and Aquarius because we're in a general reading. But somebody sees here that you have closed a door. You have brought something to full circle after being uncertain, trapped by your thoughts, not being able to make a decision. I feel like people looked at you as someone who couldn't make a decision, who couldn't decide, who couldn't speak up for themselves. I feel like the world is seeing a very different Pisces soon. And if it's not this week, I'd be surprised. But the Queen of Swords is telling me that you are about to, when these people show up, when I feel like there are people who now are going to choose you because you got money, because you got fame, because you got abundance. And I feel like you're you're right here. You're going to say it in a very healing way. Three and one is four, but you're going to give it to them exactly as you need to. I feel like you're going to be very um, specific and pointed with the information you give them. And I don't feel that it's that you want to hurt them because you're the empress. And I don't think that you want to hurt this person, but you're going to be very honest. Look, 
when you thought that I didn't have any worth, when you couldn't see my worth, when you didn't, when I didn't have any money, when I didn't have any abundance, you treated me like this. You disappointed me. All the time you disappointed me. And I feel like you're going to be really honest and truthful with somebody in a very healing and kind way. You're about to teach people lessons, but I'm going to say that I think that you're the teacher. And whether you're a spiritual teacher or a teacher like in the school system, I feel like you are teaching people a lesson. And you're going to be very clear. Look, I was very clear about what my what my path would bring and you didn't believe in me. Well, I think that there are people who are now going to believe in you here, Pisces. Tell me more. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Cups. Look, you're going to be attracting a lot of people. There are a lot of people here, right? We've got the Queen of Cups. That could be a mother, a grandmother, an older sister, maybe a best friend, somebody who um, has a loving interest in you. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. You're attracting somebody else in a long-term sort of relationship. It's like everything starts to come at you all at once, Pisces. It's not only your abundance. It's not only the spotlight. It's not only your, um, your, your pentacle world is about to change. Your 3D world is about to change drastically. But I also feel like feminine or masculine that you have, that you've attracted the queen of pentacles because you are the king of pentacles. It feels like you are, you are here um, with the queen of pentacles possibly, but I really feel, or queen of cups, but I feel like it's, it's somebody different. I feel like these are all people who are now coming at you. Some of them want long-term relationships. Some of them are coming back to say, sorry, I pissed you off. I feel like you're tuning people in, inspiring other people. I feel like the spotlight is on your money. You're becoming the empress. And I think that it's just a lot. It's a lot. We have justice. Look, you're getting karmic justice. <laughs> I love it. Look, karmic justice after terrible endings. We've got the nine of swords and there's one sword in the hand of justice. That's the betrayal. The betrayal of friendships. The betrayal of a, of a group of people, a community. People who didn't, who didn't um, believe in you. People who didn't think that you could do it. And now you're showing them, look, after the betrayal, I get the justice. I get the this this karmic justice here because I'm the one that the spotlight's on and I'm going to continue to love on people and I'm going to continue to inspire people and tell them how to make money or show them how to be abundant. I love it here. What else we got here? And you know what? Some people are going to be sad. They're they're going to be sad that um, that they didn't believe in you. Tell me about the world card, please. Yeah, they left you out in the cold here and they didn't give a crap what happened to you. Look at this. They left you in the cold. They left you out in the cold. The moon energy is here. They didn't give a crap what happened to you. Things aren't what they seem with Pisces. Whatever. Let Pisces deal with it. I feel like they left you in a place where you barely had anything. You're struggling and juggling. You know what? If people are going to leave you in a struggle and a juggle, they are not your people. They are not your people, but I think that you built it all on your own, my friend. And now you're closing the door on all of this, and here they all come running. Now let's celebrate. Invite us to your new house. You know, let's celebrate. Let's go out for drinks. Maybe they want you to buy them dinner <laughs> because you're the emperor now. <laughs> I love it. So it feels like if you're not the emperor, that I feel like you're calling in an emperor. Like, I literally think everything is about to go crazy for you. Like, shit's about to go sideways in the best way for you, Pisces. You're about to get love. You're about to attract people. Like, there are so many people in this reading. Others are going to be sad that they didn't believe in you. You've got new love coming. You've got money, abundance. Look, I'm just going to leave it there. You're going to get some clarity on all of the things that you've learned up to here. It was all worth it, Pisces. Whatever hard times you've been through by yourself, alone, trying to learn things, trying to gain the wisdom over the situation. Look at that. You've learned a lesson. Oh, I want to cry. It's beautiful. I'm going to leave it right there because I could just read on that energy forever. I'm going to go for now, Pisces. Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate you. I'm going to go for now, but I'll be back because I'm always back. Love you guys. Bye.